How's it going, guys? This is Vaughn, back here with more American Truck Simulator, as usual. Uh, we're sitting here just watching the train go by. <laughs> uh, we're experiencing the results of our uh, longer freight train mod. That's what you see right there. So that's pretty cool. It works. <laughs> At least we know that. So anywho, that's the end of that train. Just wanted to show you guys that. I thought that'd be kind of cool to wake up to. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and fly back to our um, our truck here. All right, there we are. So we are in uh, Bovina, Texas at the moment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in our cab here. Uh, I'm not sure why I went to this camera view. <laughs> I didn't really need to. But anyways, uh, let's go actually over to uh, the outs. All right, let's go into our inside cab first. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I was, I was going to show the truck from the outside, but there's not really a need to. Um, so yeah, we're back in the, um, the Dodge Bighorn 950. I love this truck. It's a payword truck from Key Shadow Walker, KSW. It's about 30 bucks. Uh, let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, we're going to go across the road to pick up our trailer and then we'll talk about that. So, all right, let's get our windows down so we can hear this puppy as we drive off here. By the way, the noise you heard at the beginning, that was not me revving the engine. That's just the normal engine sound, so that's pretty awesome. i to get my microphone adjusted here real quick. All right. Uh, the headlights come on, and we will get going. Let's take our parking brake off. Let's get up in one high, and let's get going across the way. Let me make absolutely sure before I take off really quick that our trailer is waiting for us. Uh, yeah, okay. I I was I was certain that I uh, did enlist it. Just had to make sure. Double sure. for this car. There's our trailer right there. Nice and shiny waiting for us. Alright. Let's throw her in reverse. We don't have any functioning mirrors, unfortunately, so let's use our outside view for now. So we get reversed over here to pick it up. Perfect. Get her attached, and we should see the lights come on. Awesome. So. What we got right here is the Manic logging trailer from Pister. Uh, it's a payword trailer. It's about 15 bucks. Um, awesome customizability on the uh, the lights. You can customize all the lights on the side as well as the rear lights, and I mean all of them. They're all different. So you can see we've got uh, our blinker light there on the side. That's the truck right here on the trailer. Should have. Oh, we should have blinkers. Do we not? Hmm. Those blinker lights, the, the third set on top don't seem to work. That's interesting. Hmm, not sure what's up with that. Might be the light pack we're using. Um, we're using a couple of things. Jasper's uh, American Wheels pack, and then I believe the lights come from KSW as well. KSW lights pack, I'm pretty sure. But anywho, I don't want to waste time. Uh, let's make sure our brights work. Yep. Uh, marker lights are good, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get ready to get out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna take the exit that I did last time because it threw us for a loop the last time. So rather, we'll start in one high because we're pulling empty. I'm gonna actually go out the way that we came in. Um, I'm gonna do that instead. Let's get our brights on so we can see a little better. And I hope there's no invisible walls here. 
Ah, oh, shoot. As soon as I said that, too. All right. I'm just going to turn a little more sharp this time. Okay. No biggie. All is well. Ah oh, man, you know what? I think we're going right anyway, so I didn't really need to do that. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and turn here. Man, I kinda wish we had working mirrors. Uh, there's some kind of problem with this mod where the mirrors are very, very dark at night and ex overexposed during the day so I'm not sure what's up with that let's go ahead and get our windows shut that's a little better so uh, we are driving over to Tukumkari to pick up our load and then we will get headed out from there Yeah, shoot. I didn't even look at the... I, I need to start checking the route more often before I take off. Because <laughs> we didn't even need to do that turnaround thing at our Hell Creek Feeders uh, ranch. We could have just... Uh, yeah, we could have <laughs> could have just uh, gone the usual way out. Because we had to go right on this street anyway, not left like I thought we were going to have to. Man, that's a good sounding Jake. Wow. I love that. I love how low and deep it is. That's cool. So, yeah, that's the combo we're doing today. We've got a, uh, I believe it's a Cummins ISX 600 uh, from Z Mods in this uh, classic old truck that uh, is still going. And uh, I want to say we've got a, uh, is it a, a 10 speed? I think it's a 10 speed. Yeah. Come on. It's not shifting. Where are we? There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have a um, five low? Oops. No, we don't. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to, I had to, I had to check that. <laughs> I'm over here finagling with the, with the gears. Yeah, so I think we're we're uh, we've got a, a ten speed in here. We do not have a five low, which I really should have checked before taking off. But anyways, you know, truck sim. It's a it's just a sim. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I'm hoping that we can get that job. Uh, it expires um, in about. Um, Let's see, we took off at, uh, oh no, I took the job at uh, 10 p.m., uh, had a few hours sleep, uh, we took off at about uh, 4 a.m., something like that, uh, and I saw that it expired in uh, nine hours. So it's going to be kind of tight. I don't know if we're going to make it. Hopefully we will make it. Um, the load is going to uh, Colorado. So it's not too far of a drive from where we're picking up in Tukumkari. I want to say it's about a little over four hours. The actual drive to uh, deliver the load. So it's not too bad. Okay, we got a little visibility in our mirrors now. So that's good. Still very dark though. We need to start going a little faster here. All right, we're going to go this way towards Albuquerque. And we'll get off here and stay left. We're going to hook a left up here. go as fast as I can here because we're uh, we got to haul butt over there and make sure we're not late 
but also not hit anything. <laughs> that would be great. We could not hit any uh, any guardrails or, or uh, concrete guards there. So hopefully you guys have been good. Um, sorry, car. I'm going to have to cut you off there. I can't exit yet. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, just really been trying to you know recuperate and get back to a hundred percent with uh, you know the sickness and everything um, I still don't sound the greatest but I've got a lot more energy now uh, I've got a lot more kick in my voice now which is great um, I still got the you know cough bothering me and stuff but uh, I'm getting there I'm getting there feeling a lot better so I wanted to make sure I put out a video uh, today uh, especially seeing how it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun day of the week. It's it's Friday, uh, you know, never a bad. Uh, of course, I'm recording this on Thursday, but <laughs> you're watching this on Friday. So for you and me at this point when we're watching, it's Friday. Um, so hopefully you guys are having a great Friday. Hopefully you guys have some good plans for uh, for the weekend or for uh, for Friday night. I've definitely got some uh, some driving to do uh, tonight, which is Thursday. Um, be running another convoy with the guys and uh, looking forward to it because we're doing a uh, FLX convoy uh, I'm not gonna stream or anything just yet I'm not I'm not really feeling like I can do a stream I don't, I'm not certain that I can talk for that long uh, you know not yet anyways okay there's a car back there I can tell but we're gonna have to cut him off there sorry about that bud but I got I got place place to be. They are waiting on me. I really hope we don't miss that job. I'm cutting it close, and I, I knew I was cutting it close when I, uh, you know, changed the uh, the time because I didn't I didn't want to be in, uh, you know driving at night the whole time. Alright, can't pass this guy just yet. I'm gonna get my blinker on though. Alright, after this guy, we're passing. Mr. Prime. Probably fully loaded with uh, Valentine's gifts and all that good stuff. We gotta get around this dude so we can make good time on our arrival here. There's New Mexico. Welcome, welcoming us back. All right, uh, then we can get back over here. Oh, beautiful sunrise in the background too. I can barely make it out in the, with these mirrors, but I know it's there. I know for sure in the uh, in the in post in the editing, I'm gonna have to lower the sound for this. Uh, for the gameplay and raise myself up a bit because this engine is loud. Even in my uh, my headphones, it is it is blaring, and I like it. I'll have a link to everything, by the way, with uh, the truck, the 950, to Key Shadow Walker's site, and also the the link to um, to Pister's uh, manic logging trailer. Does that mean we turn right? I think so. It's hard to tell. Yeah, we went the right way. Okay. All right, we had to yield over there, so we're clear there. I'm getting the left lane. Man, 
That's a great sound of Jake, isn't it? Yep, I'll definitely have a link to all of that stuff. And uh, the trailer is awesome. It's uh, it's basic, but it's also not. It's got it's very customizable for what you get, and uh, it's got a lot of options for the axles as well. If you want a drivable axle or not. Uh, ooh, I hope we're okay on fuel. It looks like we're halfway to empty. Um, hopefully, we'll be good there. Oh, why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? AI does weird stuff like that. When they, they see you creeping up on them, they just brake check you. Even if it's a, a green light or you're on the highway with nobody... There's nobody in front of them, but they still do it. Alright, turn it right. We're just going to kind of coast through this light here. Uh, and we're fine. It's not three. There it is. Ah, nope. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to run this. I know. My bad. Sorry. I just, I cannot be late on this. I, I think it expires at 7, and uh, we don't got a lot of time. It's going to be close. Oh, boy. Okay. We're going to have to speed our way there because I don't want to risk it. Lane merges. Get ready to turn left. Let's get our blinker on. Oh boy, okay. There we are. ADM. Turn left. Alright, we made it. Uh, let's hope it's still here. You have arrived at your destination. Alright. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Oh, I don't think it is. Man, that sucks. We missed it. Dang, that sucks. All right, let's see what else we can do here then. Uh, we don't want anything too long. Uh, man. Well, I mean, it's not terrible, I guess. Six and a half hours. The other one was six hours. I guess we're going to uh, Holbrook, Arizona. That's fine with me. Let's get our four ways on here. Dang, that sucks. We're going to have a decent uh, four hour drive there. And uh, we missed it. That sucks. All right, where are we going here? I didn't even look to see where we're headed uh are we on the other side is there even another side can we get to it hold on let's stop for a second it's gonna be tight knowing uh <laughs> the size of our trailer to oh it's right there okay i completely missed it yeah anybody who's watching knows that i i am <laughs> blind I always miss the easiest to catch stuff. Just always. Just get it all backed up there. And then 
we're gonna circle back around like this. Make sure we don't hit that pole, I think we'll be fine. So we're just gonna trace the route a little bit like this. That way we get the trailer more or less in position. Okay, let's see where we're at with this. I'm gonna use the outside view because I'm struggling to see through these mirrors, man. It's tough. Let's see, that might be good enough. Let's go a little sharper. And then we'll start to straighten it out. Like so. Okay, and we'll go back. It's looking decent. Let's curve it straight back like that just a little more. Just kind of gradually bring it around to the right. Then we'll cut it some more. Nice. Okay, we're in good shape, so... We'll get in and get out. Let's get her loaded. See how long it takes. Oh, wow. Not very long at all. Ten minutes. Look at that. Awesome. Looking great. So let's just take a look at the uh, job. So we're doing small size mixed logs. Uh, let's see. How many pounds of this are we pulling here? 47,000. Okay. Very nice. Let's get on out of here. I love that sound when you first turn it on. Okay, so we'll get our lights off. Uh, I'll start in low, actually, since we're loaded now. But this 600 horsepower ain't gonna have no trouble. I can tell you that. This will be a nice and smooth ride over to Holbrook, Arizona. Turn right. <laughs> Crazy how loud this engine is, man. Freaking awesome. Alright, pedal to the floor for this bridge here. There we go. Now I can ease up off it a little bit. What goes up must come down. Continue straight on. Man, what a cool engine. Z mods never disappoints. I tried out the big cam the other day on my Pete 62, 362 from uh, Ruta. That thing's a beast as well. I love the sound. And uh, of course, I don't do it often for videos because it, it's just, you know, gets too loud. Also, because I do the, you know, commentary, it's it can be too, you know, overpowering the gameplay video for... Uh, I mean the gameplay audio for the, for a video, but uh, it's pretty often that I I like to uh, you know drive around with the um, the windows down. And uh, just really take in the sounds of the uh, the engine from there. I mean it's awesome. 
I'm kind of staying in the in the high gears. I'm not really uh, got green, so coasting right through. I don't really often go into the the lower gears. Um, I guess unless it's a you know we're kind of maxed out with our load. A little bit of frame drops there. Keep right, and then turn right. Turn right. Almost there, almost there. There we go. Get on over right away. West 40, that's where we're headed. West on 40. Yeah, especially when I, you know, over rev. This puppy gets loud, and that's for sure. And I'm all about it. I hate a quiet engine. <laughs> or an engine with no jake. That's uh, that's also... That also sucks, sometimes. See, our mirrors are a little overexposed now. So that's kind of strange. I'm not sure exactly what that's about uh, with the mirrors. Um, why there's that issue with the, the lighting on them. Because mirrors are important. You know, we need them. And uh, it's on either extreme. Either too dark or too overexposed and stuff like that. Oh, got to get over here. See, now I think they're okay. Yeah, that's how it should be. I guess it's when the it could be an issue with the uh, the sun shafts maybe come on buddy let me over all right don't get too excited we're hauling a serious load so we're going low and slow today Well, I know everybody's looking forward to 150, just around the corner. I am too, for sure. And uh, we'll see what's in store. I'm looking forward to Nebraska as well. Uh, there was a game update that happened, apparently. Um, when I logged in yesterday, uh, there was a message on there that said, uh, game version changes. So it was 1.49 point, I don't know, 13 something? I don't know some mini update was done seems like uh, I haven't read through the uh, if there's any patch notes on it I haven't, haven't not read through those so I don't know what was done in the update but I uh, just know that uh, it did happen Ooh, sharp turn there Um, also, of course, know that, uh, you know, 150 is probably going to break some things, but it's expected, you know. Hopefully it just doesn't break too many things, because, <laughs> uh, you know, that's kind of a downside of um, having mods is they get updated or get bugs and that can either depend on just on the day sometimes you might get a random bug or something stops working for no apparent reason or there's a game update 
comes in, breaks it. So you got to kind of wait on the mod makers to catch up and do it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got to slow down. Ooh, that's bad driving on my part. Really bad driving. My bad there. Sorry to the semi behind me. I don't do a good enough job of checking my mirrors. That's my fault. I was hoping I could lane switch rapidly and not slow down, but it didn't work out, so we <laughs> that cost us. But uh, anyway, 150 coming out is going to be incredible. I mean, I, I it's it's worth whatever it breaks just for the um, upgrade to the game that we're going to get. Uh, which has been long overdue and it's long an anticipated by the community so I'm, I'm very excited for it I know that I say that I'd probably bring it up in every video I'm sure that everybody else does too so it's probably just a broken record at this point but you know we're excited we can't hold it in <laughs> and you know we need it too I know that there's also some other updates going on. I um, uh, was chatting yesterday with the guys, and Spig mentioned there's an update coming out for the FLX truck. Um, and I, I say that I know there's updates, but I don't know for a fact about Ruda's trucks. But they've been having a lot of issues lately, um, crashing the game. So. I guess what I'm saying is we're hoping that there's an update coming out and we're we're sure that, you know, the team over at by John Ruda has heard of the the issues going on and probably heard report after report of game crashes and stuff like that. So we uh, you know, at least we hope there's some updates coming out. And so I know that so the 362 obviously works uh, I use it pretty much every day I drive in it just about every day um, however the 389 and the freight shaker XL um, those are not working for sure so we are kind of stuck waiting for that to be resolved um, it's mildly frustrating you know because you know we love the trucks and want to use them and you know we paid for them <laughs> so it would be nice to use them since we bought them but I mean we know how it is with with mods we understand that we're not paying for a hundred percent proof 99.9% uh, uptime kind of deal. We know that we're paying for something that's unsupported by SES when we start modding the game. So we expect there's going to be issues. I guess what we're kind of frustrated about mostly is the amount of time that's been that's that's passed, and uh, the trucks have not gotten any fixes. So that is kind of frustrating and uh, you know it's not easy to wait for for the issues to be addressed but nonetheless we try the best we can speeding a little bit here but I just want to make sure we get good time you know and we're making up for the little slowdown we had uh, <laughs> a little while ago
I'm going to need to check with the guys if we're going to do another um, another weekly convoy this week. Um, no one's really brought it up as far as uh, doing it again this week, but I know we were trying to get a weekly thing going. I'm sure for the most part we're just kind of riding out the, the hype from from the Cannonball stream a couple weeks ago. Um, but if we can keep the momentum going, I mean, I'm all for it. We do pretty much, uh, you know, spur of the moment convoys uh, weekly. So there's not really a reason that we can't uh, schedule it, you know, on a day that works for everybody. And it seems like Friday nights works for most people. So it'd be cool if we can uh, get another one together. Police officers are up here with us because we are going pretty fast. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Oh, snap. You did not just do that. Holy cow. Okay, I see why. <laughs> There's police on the, on the side over there. I thought he was doing it just to cut us off and be a jerk. But if we do end up doing another convoy this week, I will probably skip out on uh, on streaming it just just for this week. Uh, and that's a that's a maybe. I'm not you know I'm not nothing set in stone as far as like if I'm streaming or not, if we're doing a convoy or not. Oh, there was an officer with us. Wow. Surprised he didn't yell at me for uh, going ten over the limit. Especially with a, as a loaded truck. But anywho. Um, not set in stone. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. Because I... It's hard. It's Streaming is hard when you're, when you're... I don't know. I have obviously the energy to sit down and, and drive. I, I can do that. But, you know, when you're not feeling 100%. I mean, you got to stay on top of... Maintaining the stream, uh, interacting with chat. Um, you know, it takes effort to be on camera and to have a presence during your stream and all. Uh, which I obviously love doing, but it's it's just hard when you're not feeling 100% and I'm not 100% yet. So I just know from the last stream that I did where I, you know, I pushed through and uh, I did it. It took, I mean, it wiped me out. It took a lot out of me. We were, we, I streamed for three hours and then we drove around offline, you know, off, not offline, not off stream for another close to three hours and wore me out, man. So I know that, uh, which I, I am actually glad that I did stream. Uh, the last time because we were initially supposed to have three streams going uh, we only had two uh, I think recon had some stuff come up so he wasn't able to make the convoy at all uh, hopefully we get him next time really missed him on that one that was uh, you know it's kind of we had fun obviously but you know, there's just a, uh, there was a void there <laughs> without him. So hopefully we get it back, him back.
Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Trying not to cough into the mic so you don't get that <laughs> in the video. That's why I went to our outside view for just for a second. So I don't, uh, what do you call it? You don't hear me coughing and then see something wacky go on with the camera because I got my head tracker on. Sorry about that. I'll head right back in. There we are. So yeah, we'll see what's going on and uh, I'm sure that somebody will stream it. Uh, whether it's goggles and recon or maybe just goggles this time. If I'm not 100% there yet, which will be, you know, determined by uh, how quickly I can get there. But we'll see. It'll be fun anyway. I know we'll have a good sized group because we always do. Even for the spur of the moment convoys, we generally get four or five guys. Um, so. It will be fun. It'll be great. It just makes it that much better when we can stream it and share it with you guys, because we know that we know that somebody will will you know get some entertainment value out of it, watching us do our shenanigans that we always do. All right, whoa, we gotta we gotta get over. Oh, please, no one cut us off. Please don't cut us off. We cannot stop in time. Man. That guy just, man, decided, yeah, you know what? There's a semi coming fully loaded with logs. I'm, let me cut in front of him. That's a great idea. Gee whiz. This AI is ruthless. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Indian arts and crafts. Let's get our Jake on. So let's make sure we're clear. Yeah, we're fine. Somebody will have to tell me what those tents are called. I don't believe... The word that's the word that's coming to mind is TP, but I don't I don't think that's right. <laughs> I think we're a little bit over our lane there. Sorry about that, Mister. But we saw a lot of those in Arizona uh, at the Grand Canyon, which is pretty cool. I'm sure there's <laughs> obviously a ton of them that we're not going to see in you know in the game. I don't know why I had the Jake on there. I must have left it on. That's one thing I kind of miss about the... Uh, uh, whenever I drive the, uh, the 362. It doesn't really have a blinker. Which I don't know if that's a must for... Anybody? It 
definitely not for me. I'm not going to say, man, no blinker. I ain't driving it. It's just weird to not have that audible confirmation that your blinker is on, you know? This our drop off? I believe it is. DFA. Four ways on. You have arrived at your destination. Well, where do we drop here? Let's see. Probably on the right. Yeah, don't see anything over there. Uh, oop. nope, I was wrong. Nothing over there, let's see. It's hard to see with that, uh, is that it right there? No. Let's see, what does the map show? It's showing on the right, so. Ah, that far spot over there by the, uh, silos. I think those are silos. <laughs> okay. No problem. We can do it, boss. Give ourselves enough room on this setup to reverse, and uh, we'll use our outside view for this. Uh, This uh, reverse here. We're gonna need fuel after this one too, big time. Start turning her to the right. May need to straighten back out. I'm not sure. We might get it though. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to straighten out. Just a wee bit. Let's go over to the left. Like that. Nice and straight. Yes, we are. We might get it here. Yeah, we'll be we'll be just perfect, actually. Nice. Okay. There we go. Get her unloaded, and we got an excellent. Probably won't level up here. Yeah, we're halfway there. From, from this point, anyway. So that was it. Uh, small size mixed logs delivered from Tucumcari to Holbrook, Arizona. Awesome. Thanks for joining me on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll have links to everything, as I mentioned. The, the uh, 950 truck mod and the Pister Manic tr uh, logging trailer. Go check them out for sure. Uh, we'll see you around here for the next one. We'll find out if we're going to stream uh, this week or not. Uh, and Convoy, that is, as well. So... Thanks for sticking around. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed this content and please drop a like while you're at it. I appreciate the love and support. It helps me to keep going and keep making these videos. And we'll see you again in the next one, if not on the stream this weekend. Have a good one, guys.